just don't remove him. Uh, Ik Chuku, Daniel Okwori. So yeah, control the camera as you want. I'm giving you power and access to do that. Okay. Prime Minister, in Prime Minister, with Oji. You can go in Oji. When you there, you 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 are in the in the in the room. Nandi Abiyama, where in Oji? You say, you say, you say, you say, you say, you say. He am watching up on the news. Adam, 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 Descended on her to give her. It is that that name, the Miriam. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not a, a little, game, game, yeah. I told this email. I have a lot of talking. Okay, 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 okay. The two better people are coming after me. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, well, thank you. You can on, 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 you can on, meet, meet me. Okay, if you go, I'm going on. You put up my hands, I eat Oh, Okay. Uh, okay. Our reverence will come in now. Do you can unlock your? Mazi Boniface, are you there? Uh, is Mazi Boniface still uh, here? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we have two more persons to assist uh, Dr. Emma to officially welcome our Prime Minister to UK. The first person is um, Mazieke, Mazo Zomeke. Lisa, can you unmute yourself and um, join voice with Dr. Ma to welcome our PM? Okay. Thank you very much, my people. I greet my Prime Minister for giving us this time to be here in our town. I thank everybody that is present even those of you that are not here as well. Uh, my senior brother has said everything about the color. I'm not going to talk much about color. What I'm going to talk is about our PM. 
Our PM has done everything online. And uh, it's marvelous that uh, we are happy with him. Uh, um, when uh, the Mar 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 Mazike, sorry to interrupt. We can't see your face. We're only seeing. Uh, okay. Yeah. We are, we're only seeing Mama there. Yeah. Mama okay. 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 Well, let me sit down then. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It's okay uh, like this. Uh -huh. It's okay. Okay. Like this. Uh, get closer. Get closer to Mama so that the camera will pick your it. <laughs> we are close. We are close. Don't worry. All right. Uh -huh. it's okay. Yes. When uh, Nandekano was kidnapped. Everybody thought the end has come for Biafra struggle. And uh, I think he follows his own uh, uh, saying. He said, even if he's not there, in 100 or 1 million years, nobody will destroy uh, IPOB and the idea of Biafra struggle. And uh, I think. His kidnap, his being kidnapped helped us to find the reserve in us. And uh, God presented uh, the Prime Minister, my Ebert, Simon and Jock, to us. I know it's not everybody would agree with uh, what everybody does in this particular struggle. But God knows who is following the truth in this struggle. And that is why everything has worked perfectly for him. Now the colonel had a lot of people, all these ideas, he had them, but uh, he was full of, his, his, his cabinet was full of saboteurs, all of them. He was yeah. very, very fortunate to have saboteurs, all of them, among uh, his cabinet. So we leave that for the day the, it will be told. I thank God for your coming, Mr. Uh, my Prime Minister. I thank God for my people here present welcoming you. And uh, I pray with this scholar that uh, you will continue with the success story you've started with and we end it up in getting us Biafra. Um, I will support this scholar, breaking of this scholar with uh, uh, 200 Ejama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, 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 thank you very much. We appreciate Um, The next person to... All right, wonderful people. Welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back-to-back -back updates and information on CD Hot. In case you are first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember... So on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first. We will collect them. Let's go down to the news proper as it is hot. You don't shall it. Um, one thing about this life is that uh, whatever you are doing, uh, always remember that there is tomorrow. Always remember that there is tomorrow. Whatever you are doing, always remember that there is tomorrow. And um, tomorrow... We speak for itself. And always remember that there is what is called posterity that judges every man's action in the nearby future. Let's go down to what is happening right now in the Biafra land. And there are some things that when you hear them, you will start crying. You will start shedding tears and you start wondering, the people who are doing these things, are they not the same people who are supposed to be you know, fixing the land, making the land to be a better place for the people whom everybody expects to be the those who are fixing the land, those who are, you know, uh, righting the wrongs uh, that have been done in the state and in the nation.
to bring about peace are the ones who are even making things more difficult for the citizens. As it may be, uh, Hope Uzodema, the governor of Imo State, has sent message to civil servants that anyone who obeys Monday sit at home will forfeit his salaries. Uh, this one is coming from Governor Hope Uzodema of Imo State. Remember that 31st, 30th of May is supposed to be a sit at home and a commemoration uh, for the lost heroes of the Biafrans you know, to keep silence, to pray for them, and also to remember that some time ago, the Biafrans lost gallant men and women during the 1967 to 1970 Civil War. It is just a remembrance, but someone will wonder why the Southeast state governors are seriously kicking against this particular, uh, um, this particular holiday of 30th of May that have been mapped out to, you know, honor heroes, fallen heroes of Ndibo who fell during the 1967 to 1970 Nigeria Biafra Civil War. Let's go down to what Hope Uzadema is saying in Imo State as he has uh, given an order that anybody who observes Monday sit at home will forfeit his or her salary. Hope Uzadema, governor of Imo State, has directed that civil servants in the state who do not show up for work on Monday should, should lose their salaries. Daklan Emelumba, commissioner for information and strategy in Imo, disclosed the governor's directive in a statement issued on Monday, on Tuesday. The government of Imo State has observed with dismay that some civil servants, for inexplicable reasons, absent themselves from duties, especially on Mondays, the statement reads. This is totally unacceptable. Moreover, since such civil servants neither obtain permission nor have author author authorization of their superiors to abstain from duty, thereby making their conduct illegal and unprofessional. Consequently, the government will henceforth view such a ras Rascality conduct as a direct challenge to its authority, which will attract sanctions. Going forward, His Excellency, the Governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzadema, has directed that any civil servant who absents himself, herself, from duty on Mondays or any other day for that matter will lose his or salary, in addition to other punishment that may be recommended against him or her. Consequently, permanent secretaries and head of parasitals and heads of agencies of government are hereby directed to immediately commence daily roll calls of workers to ensure that those who disobey this order suffer the consequences. A civil servant who pleaded anonymity told the cable that the major reason for the absenteeism on Mondays was because of the sit at home order enforced by the indigenous people of Biafra. She said the government and security agencies have not done enough to keep IPOB elements at bay. It is not true that Monday sit at home has been completely checkmated in Imo State. If you check very well, most of the killings and burning of houses in Imo State always take place on Mondays, the source said. My people, this one is coming from um, the governor of Imo State, uh, go, uh, governor of Imo State, Hope. Um, Uzo Dema have uh, directed that anybody found victim, anybody found culprit of uh, not coming to work on Monday should forfeit his or her salary with other punishments that are attached to that particular uh, uh, salary for future. And he has also directed a uh, head of agencies and permanent secretaries uh, to make sure that they carry out roll call every Monday in order to be or every day in order to make sure that every worker participate or that every worker is available at any day of work. Meanwhile this one is happening uh, in Biafra land as it be in as it be for Okoma Okoma women and the Okoloma women there has been a protest around that axis. Um, remember that it was this in this Okwama that about 17 soldiers lost their lives 
which resulted in a, a reprisal attack that led to the burning of houses of people who live in that Okuma area. As it is now, uh, another another chaos, another uh, trouble has risen from that particular Okuma and Okoloma, and the women are protesting and um, looking deep into what is happening in Okoma and Okoloma, you find out that this is a typical land tussle. The two parties are tussling for land. They are fighting uh, to make sure that the land uh, goes to them, these people or other people. And that is what has been going on there. Biafra Day, uh, UNICEF makes you turn uh, readjust convocation day after IPOB threat. Uh, remember that uh, UNICEF had already fixed 30th of May to be their uh, convocation and graduation for those who are graduating from the tertiary institution. But the members of the IPOB Indigenous People of Biafra issued a powerful warning uh, to UNICEF telling them uh, not to play with their chi. Makanonye Blue Chios Omegene or Babu Omuyan also. As it is, they have made a U-turn and they have readjusted the date of their convocation. Let's go down and see the new date of the conv convocation. Apparently, due to the call by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, that they scheduled 18 convocation ceremony on 18th convocation ceremony on May 30th to be shifted as the date coincides with the Biafra Day. The management of Nand Azikiwe University Oka has adjusted the date for the ceremony. IPOB through its media and publicity secretary Ima Paafo had said that May 30th will be a day for sit at home in honor of all those who lost their lives during the Biafra War, warning that the safety of those who decided to attend the convocation ceremony on May 30th will not be guaranteed. However, the special advisor to the UNICEF Vice Chancellor on Special Duties and Public Security, Dr. Emmanuel Ojuku, said the ceremony, which was billed to be held on May 30th and 31st, 2024, has been readjusted to hold only on May 31st. Uh, this one is coming live, and this is what is uh, currently happening uh, in the Obodo. UNICEF have readjusted their date. Eh, makarande ba isa na anantike, obokontike, no bo chie bulia, ano anantike neso zua magene anani ye. Mbano, my people na here, I go to wind and the cutting the pekota everything. And if this is your first time of joining us on this palatable, wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Plenty, plenty. Canals plea to be transferred from the custody of the Department of State Service DSS to prison or in the alternative place, in alternative, place him under house arrest. Canal is standing trial of seven count charges bordering on treasonable felony as preferred against him by the federal government. Uh, my people, there is something I want to uh, say, but before that. I will read out some comments of people on this particular uh, news information that just dropped. This one is coming from Muhammad Ad Muhammad. He said, sentiment aside, if an offender one jump bail, what's the reper repercussion of that? The same bail he jumped, he is now seeking. Uh, this one is coming from somebody called Muhammad Muhammad. Of course, you know that uh, such things should come from that kind of name meanwhile let's go to another information somebody said his name is simple he said you are uh do you know the meaning of jumping bail Ami that went to his house to buy him where he buy men 27 men and one dog is what if you were him would you stand or escape for your life what about if he was among the 27 men who was sent to judgment 
by the NRG soldier. Another person commented, his name is Zone Infinity. He said, did he really jump bail or did he run for his life when the same government and military these guys came for his life? Be listening or be paying attention because uh, some people have sense. There are some people that if they talk, you know that really uh, these people have sense. There are some people who cannot, uh, if they talk, you will know that um, these people don't have sense. Another person said, uh, this I will not read because this particular comment uh, is vulgar. Now, uh, Ugu and Ujung Omonya said, Mind you, IPOB is not a proscribed organization. Confirmed from Bintayako, be warned. Now, another person said, This one is coming from Anthony. He said, Nyako is an evil judge using by the evil energy government. He said, You will buy soon in shameless buy. <laughs> of course, some of you they understand why I am changing some things because. Uh, here in our platform, some vulgar languages are not uh, really allowed. Uh, somebody said, uh, his name is G. Maximus, he said, Watch your comment in public space, bro. Don't let them come for you. <laughs> um, this one is Bar Barista Oluwafemi Ajay. Let's see what Barista Oluwafemi Ajay. He said, please release this man. He has done nothing. We are hungry. Fuel is 890 per liter, bag of rice is 880k, house rent so high, Nepa tariff so high, Nam the canoe is least of our problem. Now, this one is coming from a Yoruba person, they talk this one. Well, of course, you know, now Yoruba people are then there for power now. If a Yoruba man is complaining, my brother uh, just know how the other people will be complaining. Well, another person said, I pray to all those who talk rubbish about MNK. He said, Kama is waiting for you you yourself that is listening to me you can also drop your comment on the comment section let's see your view let's see your take he said continue to praise nam the candle because if not or for him some of you may not be alive today this one is coming from odo joseph he said that people should praise mazen nam the camera one of nibo because it is because of him that many Igbos are still alive today what is your take on that one is it true or false now, Richard Loka said, Binta, if you don't take time, you will go down before MNK, I swear. This person is making this comment, but I don't want to go to the full detail of that particular comment. This one is from Charles Chiedoze Ozurumba. He said, the continuity of his illegal detention is a proof that NIG is a failed state. MNK is innocent and should be released uh this one is coming from another person then Emma Uzo said he said god will judge everyone according to his judgment to other people every day in nigeria some group of people are killing innocent people and whenever and whenever they like they will come out and say they have surrendered <laughs> he said this same government will forgive them some when arrested as many of them are will later be released that they have repented what is now the canon real offense? Let's be careful what we say for God is watching. And meanwhile, this particular comment, my people, uh, before I go on, I want to go to this particular comment uh, that this person made. He said, he said, God will judge everyone according to our judgment to other people. Every day in Nigeria, some group of people are killing innocent people. And when they are Whenever they are tired, they will come out and say that they have surrendered, they have become repentant, like the BH, the headsmen, and the rest of them. Of course, you know that today in Nigeria, the government is paying the PH, the BH, the repentant BH, paying the repentant ISWAP, and the rest of them. Even the common man, the, the civil servant, who his father spent all his money, or maybe his parents, or maybe by himself, went to school after four years, five years, six years, seven years, has not been able to get a job. And people who, you know, you know, destroyed other people's life are there getting a job, getting paid without even participating in any work activity. Now, let's go down to what John Mark Ibe is saying. John Ibe is saying, he said, this judge is lucky. She won't retire with case of MNK. Hmm, until government do the needful, nation cannot move forward. Setting free, letting go, 
he is a free man. Uh, my brother, you have made such a very wonderful comment there uh, because he said, um, uh, until government do the need for the nation, we never move forward. Uh, I want to let you know that the downfall of every nation, every state, is in the hand of the leaders. It is the leaders that will make the nation to move forward or the leaders that will make the nation to move backward. If you look at Nigeria's progression from the 1999 of Obasanjo to up to date, and you don't need a soothsayer to tell you that the leaders in the nation are not doing well because economy is not stable, things are getting harder every day. Meanwhile, places like Europe in every, uh, and other countries, you can still buy things with coin. In Europe, you can still buy things with coin. But in NIG, in NIG, 500 Naira will not be able to buy you a meal now. It cannot even buy you a bottle of Coke and bread. Of course, you know, uh, everybody where they for this side, where they bring up, of course, you know, as they be with us, uh, with something like bread and coke or with bread and mineral, something like that. But as it is now, a whole 500 naira will not be able to, you know, get for you a, 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 a bottle of mineral and a loaf of bread, which is very appalling. Of course, you know that buying bread now is taking from 300 to 400, 500. And buying coke now is 400. Or buying any other mineral is actually 400, which is very appalling. And the question is, where are we going to? Where is the nation going to? And when, uh, and when, uh, 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 what is his name? Uh, what is his name? Mazin uh, uh, Kano uh, speaks out. Uh, you will find that a lot of people will be backbiting. A lot of people will be doing a lot of things. A lot of people will be, you know, making sure that. Uh, these people are clamped down that uh, their talk did not hold ground and the rest of them because uh, they know what they are actually doing. They know what they are actually doing. The leaders know what they are doing. The government know what they are doing. They know their take. They know what they want. They know what they actually need. They know what to do in order to make the nation better. But greediness, greediness will not allow these people to develop the nation and we believe that one day one day to work out now by myself we carry freedom and put it in the hand of his people i'm going to get me saying i can't double here and if this is your first time of joining us kindly go ahead subscribe like comment and share thank you for listening god bless you